Okay, so there's my truckload of sunflowers that I cut last fall. I stuck them in the greenhouse so they could dry out. Today, I put together a little uh, trough made out of scrap metal. And we're going to see if I can convert them into charcoal using the trench method. Got a barrel here with a little bit of water and some ice. There's all kinds of snow and ice around that I can use to extinguish the charcoal. Got some cardboard there to start a fire. Let's go for it. That's gonna go quick. Okay, that's us. All the sunflowers are burned. Well, I lost a few, but the majority of them got converted to charcoal. You can see half a barrel's worth. It's all waterlogged. I ended up pulling the ice out because the ice was not melting fast enough to extinguish the charcoal. It would just sit there and burn underneath of it. Maybe eventually it would have, but had lost a lot of charcoal in the process. So I ended up having to go find some fresh water. Uh, one thing of note, uh, the water here is very alkaline. I stuck my hand in there to swish it around a little bit, and I, I'm pretty sure I sustained a little bit of a chemical burn. So, bad idea. The other charcoal I could get away with that. This stuff is a much higher ash content. You know, I bet if I drained the water out of this, I could make soap. That's clear full of hydroxides, potassium and sodium. There you go. Half a barrel of charcoal from a truckload of sunflowers. Granted, they weren't packed very tight. Still, they don't really have very much substance to them. So I'm going to have to process a lot of sunflowers to get a substantial amount of charcoal. Uh, Another problem with the low density of the sunflowers is this thing filled up and I had to empty it out before I could get more sunflowers in. But once I extinguished it and just tapped it down with a shovel, they, they actually collapse quite a bit. Like this is probably about the same density as the other charcoal at this point now. It's just the pieces are smaller. <laughs> Alright, so that was a good little learning experiment. Maybe I'll upgrade this at some point. I'm thinking maybe just a big pile of them would be more efficient. Yeah, I can definitely do it.